Hello, I am Jinu O from Relearn to Share. In today's video, we are going to talk about marginal analysis and consumer choice. After that, we are going to do a short wrap up about our unit one basic economic concepts, which we have studied from our past four videos. The first concept that we have to understand in today's video is the marginal benefit and marginal cost. So the below you can see a table about the marginal benefit and the marginal cost. Uh, one line is slope upwards and one line is slope downwards. The yellow line, which is slope upwards, refers to the marginal cost. And the red line, which slopes downwards, refers to the marginal benefit. Now, many are confused about this. Why is the marginal benefit decreasing as the quantity increases? But this is actually common sense and can be solved by a simple situation. Let's say I am very thirsty and I really want a bottle of water. And so I go to a convenience store and purchase one bottle of water and receive uh, a value of 15 of a benefit. But then if I decide to purchase an another bottle of water, uh, what do you think? Uh, would it be likely that I would receive the same amount of benefit or maybe a higher amount of benefit? Or would it be more likely that I would receive a smaller amount of benefit compared to the first bottle? Well, logically or reasonably, we can infer that I am likely to receive a smaller amount of benefit, maybe like 12 or 10. But why is it? It's simple. It's just because I have already drank some water and now I feel less thirsty than what I used to in before. And that is why the marginal benefit decreases as the quantity increases. You are already less thirsty, less hungry, uh, anyways, less needing the product. And there are three arrows, so let's take a closer look at each arrow. The first arrow refers to a point at the quantity in which the marginal benefit is bigger than the marginal cost. Uh, let's say you are a very rational consumer, and I'm going to ask you a question. Are you going to stop consuming at this point? And the answer is probably going to be no. And in this sense, if you consume more and more, it is likely that you will receive more and more and more benefit since the marginal benefit is bigger than the marginal cost. However, in contrast, at this point, which the marginal benefit is smaller than the marginal cost, uh, as a rational consumer yourself, Will you consume at this point? And the answer is also going to be a no. And it is since you are giving them more than what you are gaining, which means the cost is higher than your benefit. So there is no, no reason to consume at this point. Why would you when you can just consume less and pay less for it? And that is why this point in which the marginal benefit is equal to the marginal cost is very important. In this point, a rational consumer is very likely to consume at this point of quantity. Since if they consume any less than this, they are missing out some additional benefits that they can gain from uh, consuming this product. On the other hand, if they consume at a point uh, of a higher quantity compared to this, they are actually just giving out money and they are paying for something that they don't actually want or need as much as they pay for. So, a race, so this is the most important part of this concept. A rational consumer would consume at the point in which the marginal benefit equals, equals to the marginal cost. And now let's just take a look at another concept called utility. And utility refers to the satisfaction by consuming a certain good or product, which is simply the benefit minus the cost. And there are two types of utilities, the marginal utility and the total utility. Uh, the marginal utility is referring to the additional utility that you gain from uh, purchasing another unit of a certain good or service. And the total utility is referring to the utility that you received as a whole from maybe like uh, consuming uh, three of them or four of them or 15 of them or whatever. Uh, there are two types of lines in this graph below. One is curved and one is sloped downwards. The one that slopes downwards is called the total utility, while the one that slopes down back, uh, 
slope downwards is the marginal utility. So the curved one is the total and the downward sloping one is the marginal. Now, why, uh, why would the total utility curve curve and the marginal utility curve slope downwards? We can reasonably uh, find this answer if we think back about the marginal benefit and marginal cost. But first of all, take a look at this. There is something very, uh, very uh, uh, significant about this. The peak of the total utility graph is quantity, quantities point. Uh, so the point of the x axis at which the total utility is, and this peak is same to the point of the x axis, x axis in which the marginal utility is a zero. And this is actually the point in which the marginal benefit is equal to the marginal cost. But how is that actually uh, possible? No, I mean, like, why is it? Uh, let's just talk about it easier. This divided by section. This section, which the marginal utility is positive and the total utility increases, is where the marginal benefit exceeds the marginal cost. Therefore, the marginal utility is positive since we minus the bigger number. Uh, we minus the smaller number from a bigger number and the total utility increases since you gain more and more utility as you purchase more and more of it. At this point in which the total utility is, is at its peak and the marginal utility is at zero, is the point where the marginal benefit is equal to the marginal cost since the marginal utility is the marginal benefit minus the marginal cost. And if they are equal, the answer will be zero. Finally, in this part of fiction, in which the total utility decreases and the marginal utility has a negative value, is where the marginal benefit is smaller than the marginal cost. And that is why the marginal utility is negative. You are just minusing a bigger number from a smaller number. And that is why the total utility is decreasing. You are gaining less and less benefit and more and more cost of it by purchasing additional goods. So the most important concept throughout this section about utilities and costs and benefits is this point, is that this point in which the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost or the marginal utility is a zero, or the total utility is at its peak, is actually the same. And this is the point at which the ratio consumer would consume to maximize his or her uh, utility. However, all this will be talked about using our marginal analysis in our utility analysis or whatever was based on talking about a single product. But in the real world, things are different. We have to choose between two or more products and our money is limited, which means that we can't produce, we can't consume both of the units to a point in which the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. But there is a simple formula to choose, uh, choose their amounts of consumption in order to maximize their utility. If there are two goods, good X and good Y, you should consume until a point in which the marginal utility of good X per dollar is equal to the point in which the marginal utility of good Y per dollar. All right, so this is actually a very important concept. In, in certain AP questions, which ask you about how much should we consume in, in two goods or whatever, you should use this analysis. You use this analysis to solve these questions. You should say that the marginal, we should consume until the point in which the marginal utility of good X per dollar is equal to the marginal utility of good Y per dollar using our uh, limited, limited money.